and welcome. We are going to feature a cool down segment today so you can add it to one of our workouts that is on this channel or if you just need a stretch or an energy break throughout your day, this might be a good option for you as well. So I'm going to assume that if you just got done with your workout, I want to be able to stay standing yet a little bit as we're moving side to side just to bring our heart rate down. So you want to avoid dropping your head below your heart right after you, once your like heart rate is up. So we're just going side to side, opening and closing our arms, we're stretching our chest and back. And then from here, you're going to find some arm circles. So inhale, reach, and exhale, pull through. Inhale, up. Exhale, pull through using those cleansing breaths. Rotate opposite direction. Yeah, there you go. And then we're just going to swing our body side to side. So just a little rotation through our spine. You let those arms be heavy. There you go. And from here, so we're going to keep some movement. We'll keep our legs wide. We're going to find a little lateral lunge side to side. So stretching out some inner thighs. Just again, giving our heart an opportunity to come down, our heart rate to come down. Good. From here, hold to one side. You can maybe even add a gentle little twist here. Twists are really good for detoxifying the body. And I'll just go over to the other side, a little hold. Gentle twist. Good. Back to center. Step your feet in. We're going to take a quad stretch on your thighs here. So there's some balance challenge here. Inner thighs together, tall spine. You can even add a little bit of a chest stretch here. Still using those cleansing breaths. We're going to continue to stretch out our hip flexor here right in front. We're going to step that foot back behind you. We're going to drop your back um, knee. So if I were here, as you can see from the side like so, and then you're gonna bring the arm across towards the bent knee. So with that, we're gonna stretch out our shoulders. Maybe a little wrist twist, sometimes it's really helpful, especially if you did some planks throughout your workout. Just wanna take care of our joints. From here, you're gonna take that hand forward, bring that elbow up and over, tricep release, and then you're gonna drop that back heel down. So this should be a really nice stretch in the front side of your body. Inhale, exhale. Good. From here, you're going to come all the way down now into a runner's lunge. So the knee is still over the ankle. If it feels better or serves your body, you can put that knee down. We're going to take a twist towards the bent knee, like so. Just take a little bit of a chest stretch. Exhale, bring that hand down. We're going to move through hamstring and hip flexor stretch. So hamstring, you're going to send your hips back behind you. Keep your spine somewhat tall here. Then bring it forward and lunge. Again, you could be doing this with the knee lifted. And then in this part, you're just lengthening and bringing in that back foot. And then bend. Again, the knee is down. And then hamstring stretch. Good, bring it forward. Hamstring stretch. Bring it forward one more time. From here, step that foot back, okay, and then you're going to take your left hand up to the sky and thread the needle. There we go, and so we're just going to stretch out our um, shoulders a little bit further here. Inhale, exhale, and then from here, that hand that you took through, bring it all the way up to the ceiling, and then set it down. From here, if you had we add our left leg forward this first time. So you're just gonna bring the opposite leg forward into that runner's lunge, okay? So if you're here, knee over the ankle. And then we'll take that twist towards the bent knee. Lengthen it up, find that twist. In over the nose, out of that mouth. Exhale, bring that hand down. Send your hips back to that hamstring stretch. And then just find a bit of that flow again. There you go. And back. Another one like that. Inhale, bend. Exhale, extend. Good. From here, you're going to place that foot back behind you. And then you're going to take the other arm up to the sky, thread it through, finding that 
threading the needle, stretching out the shoulder. One more breath. Bring it back up to the ceiling. And down. From here, you're gonna find your downward dog stretch right between the biceps, paddle out through those feet. And then from here, you're gonna to step to the top of your mat. We're gonna get that other quad stretch. You're gonna roll it up, one vertebrae at a time. And now that left leg, or the opposite leg that we didn't do before, comes into that quad stretch. I didn't forget about it. <laughs> Good, shoulders away from the ears. And then we'll step that foot back behind us, bring the other arm across. Again, shoulder stretch there, a little wrist twist. And then you'll bring the arm forward, up and over, find your tricep release. We're gonna drop that back heel down, feel that full stretch in the front of your body. Good, one more breath. Step your feet together. Inhale, reach arms up overhead, swan dive over, forward fold. Release your low back, attention your head on that. And then roll it up, one vertebrae at a time here. Reach arms up overhead. Interlace, press the palms towards the ceiling. Take a side body stretch, stretch out your obliques. Back to center. Other side. Back to center. Bring the hands forward. Press your palms together, shoulders down and back. So fire from the side here. Push out the upper back. And then we'll finish with the chest expansion. Arms behind the back. Roll those shoulders down and back. Inhale, exhale, one more cleansing breath. Inhale, reach up, and exhale, hands down to your side. Great job. So again, anytime you need that stretch throughout the day, or make sure to never skip your cool down um, after your workout. It's part of your training, and it's gonna make your recovery more efficient. Have a good day.